Hi everybody. Today we're doing an instructional video on the Friendly Hobbies 680 AC multi chemistry charger. Now at the beginning of the video, I'm going to do a very, very quick overview on how to charge lipos and nickel metal hydride. For the advanced features, just keep watching the video and you'll see we go through and teach you how to do lithium ions and lipos and different chemistries. So hang out for that. To charge a LiPo battery, scroll through till you get to the LiPo charge menu. Once I'm there, I press start, and when that feature is ready to be changed, it blinks. So now I can change the value to whatever I want, up and down. So I'm going to do 3.3 because I'm doing a 3300 milliamp LiPo 3 cell. Once I press start, that locks it in. I can then change this to whatever cell I need, which is a three cell, and I press start. It's locked in. Now I'm ready to charge. I hook up the battery to the charge cable, and I also press put in the balance connector. Once I'm hooked up there, I press and hold start, and don't forget, it asks you to confirm it. So it's telling me there's a three cell, and do I really want to charge it? I press start and there it is. It starts charging. When it's done, it'll beep at you and tell you the battery's full. I want to do a nickel metal hydride now. I go to my battery type. I scroll through. There's LiPo, nickel metal hydride. I just press start to enter it. I then, if I want to change any values, I press start and I can change the amperage there. Nickel metal hydrides are very simple to charge. I press start to lock it in. I hook up my battery. I press and hold start. There's no connection there, but it would have charged. I press stop if it goes into an error. I have everything out here, so let's take a look at the charger and what we do to hook it up. I have the balance board. I have the power cord, and you see it has the Mickey Mouse ears. There's no power switch on it, so you just plug it in and there's no power switch also, so it just turns it on by itself. Now, if we're doing LiPo batteries, we have to use the balance plug. It plugs into the side here, and you'll see it has a little notch on it, and it goes right in. Right here, we have the actual charge cord that goes into the banana connectors, which is black to black and red to red. Also, what comes in the box is adapters that you can hook to the charge cord to do flat batteries, JST, you can use lead acid batteries, and a glow plug charger. The other cord here is to use it on DC power. You can plug it into a car, 12 volts. It plugs in here on the side, and then these two terminals will hook to a battery lead acid or a car battery, any 12 volt power supply. I want to start out with the buttons and what the buttons do. Right here is your battery type all the way on the left hand side. Your up and down key and then your start or enter key. You can scroll through on what type of batteries you're going to charge. The first section is lipo charge. The next is your nickel metal hydrides. The next is NICAD, and then your lead acid. Once you go past that, you have you can save data in there, your 10 most favorite batteries, and you can just go through and plug those in. And you also can load the data once they're saved. The program key gets you into the more different chemistries of battery. I'm just going to go in there for a second. Say I wanted to do a life battery. I press the start key and it takes you right to the LiPo menu. And if you scroll over, you can do LiPo, Lithium Ion, Life, whatever it may be, NICAD, and set those peak detections and peak charge and discharge, okay? I'm gonna go back here because a lot of people have problems or are confused on how to do a lithium ion battery. Once we're in the LiPo menu in the program mode, I can press start. And that's asking you to change the voltage. If I go up, I go to lithium ion, and the next is life batteries. Once I get that locked in, I can press start. And once I go through 
back to the lipo menu, you see it says life, not lipo. So I want to just kind of touch on that so that you know how to do lithium ion or life. Once I want to go into the lipo mode, I press start. And if you see here, I'm on lipo charge. In this lipo area, you can do different things with that lipo battery. I can press the increase key and I go to balance. I go to fast charge. I go to storage charge. Now if you're going into storage charge, you can, once you press the start key, it asks you how much amperage you want to change. When that feature is blinking, that's when I can change the value of it. I can go up, I can go down, whatever I want to do, and start locks it in. That's a one cell, so I can go up to a three cell, start locks it in. Now I'm ready to do LiPo storage charge, and it puts it in storage mode. I'm charging a three cell, 3300 Gen Zace battery. As I said, once you press the start key and something is blinking, that's when I can change the value of it. Generally, on a three cell or 3300 milliamp, we use the 3300 as the amperage that we're going to set. So right there, you're seeing that I have 0.1 amp. I want to go up to 3.3. And there it is. 3300 milliamps, I'm 3.3 amps. I press start to lock it in. And if you see there, it tells you the voltage of your battery. I can go two cell, and you see it says 2S. I can come down to 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and the maximum on this charger is a 6 cell. So I'm going to come back down with the minus key to 3S. I press start to lock it in. So we plug in the power lead, and we also plug in the balance board. You see it's 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 cell. You see on the battery that it can't plug into 2, it's too big, too too small for four, so I'm just gonna go right into three. Now, I'd like to give a couple of cautions here. Now what's happening is, I have a battery hooked up here, and when a battery's hooked up, there's voltage going through this line. So if I unplug these two, there's voltage coming on both of these banana connectors. If I accidentally touch those together and arc it, it'll damage the battery. So you always wanna take the battery off before you touch any cords. We'll get back to that. I know my settings are correct. I'm at 3.3, I'm at 3S, 11.1. I press and hold start. It asks me to confirm the setting. Yes, it sees a three cell. The charge is very intelligent, so it knows that there's a three cell. I said, yes, it looks good. I confirm it, I press start, we're charging. If you see on the top here, it's telling me I am charging a three cell LiPo. I'm charging at 3.3 amps. I'm at 11.57 volts on my battery right now. I've been charging for 17 seconds and I put 15 milliamps back into the battery. Now here's the cool feature about this battery charger. I press the increase key and it shows me exactly what each cell has. Now this is very important because you don't want to damage a battery and take that voltage down below 3.6 per cell. So when I run my car, I'm gonna, or whatever I'm using, I run for 15 minutes, I put this battery back on and I check that my cell voltage is not too low. Under 3.6 is starting to be a little bit too low. If I press start again, I get back to the main menu. If I want to stop the battery and just stop charging, I press the stop key and now I can unplug it. As I said before, we have voltage going through this cord. I always want to take the battery off first before I touch any of the cords. Okay, now we're going to go to nickel metal hydride. Okay, I have a lipo, I'm done, I want to do a hydride. So we're going to go right back here, program, lipo battery, nickel metal hydride battery. Not many people use NICADs anymore, which is the next menu. But at least it's there, and if you have it, you can do it. I'm going to scroll back through again to the, my battery type. There's the program where we go in to change the lipo, life, and lithium ion. And I'm back to lipo, and there's nickel metal hydride. 
you press the start key to lock it in. I then, same as LIPO, can go through and do my different functions. Discharge, the cycling of it, uh, and then the regular charge. When I press start, don't forget, that again is blinking so that I can change the value. I want to go up to whatever nice rate to charge or whatever the manufacturer of the battery tells you to charge at. I press start and then I'm good to go. All my settings look good. The nickel metal hydride is a lot easier to charge than a LiPo battery. Once I get it hooked up, I can press and hold start and you'll see it's going to give me an error saying there's no battery detected on it. I press the stop key. And that's how you use the Friendly Hobbies 680 AC multi-chemistry battery charger. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to go to our Facebook, our Instagram, and our YouTube channel to find out everything that's going on at Friendly Hobbies and the latest stuff. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.